Welcome to this video on the new feature, the lighting feature in the new 2020 Fusion version 3. We call it FX3 and there's a few key features in it and each of these videos will show you parts of, of these, these new features. The first feature that we're going to be doing today is the lighting features. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is this is a design in, in the new FX3 and the, the look of the new FX3. What I'm going to do here is at the top you'll notice it's got lighting and it's got new render settings. It doesn't have the, the normal traditional future vision or background. It has preview which is the new normal future vision and, and, and background. So once you click on preview you then can choose if you want a background or not. You can also add in panoramic views as well but we'll do that video at another time. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to lighting, which is easy. You don't have to actually add in manual manual lighting. It will do this for you. So if you drop down lighting and you drop down themes, at the moment it's on none. And you've got different options here of, that you can choose from. So I'm just going to go default and you'll see it starting to, to render. Okay, the, the normal default lighting, you can see it's automatically putting in sunlight for me. It increases the brightness for me. The next one that I'm going to go for is, and they all have different different lighting. Yeah, I'm going to go for sunset now and you'll see it's, it will improve quite a, quite a bit here. It brings in a different kind of lighting, different kind of sun. Uh, it brings in the orange sun so that's it's more of a the sunset um, picture. Okay, there it is. It's, it gives you a nice look uh, through that window. The next, the next lighting I want to do is the the midday. This is the brightest one. It really lights up your your design quite a bit. You'll see there. This is the the normal one that I, I normally choose because it it looks nice on the design, and it looks bright, and you can actually see everything on it. You can also change the direction of the sun. You'll notice here the incline. You can make that 70 if you wanted to. And it will you'll notice the immediately that, that sun will start changing and pointing in a 70 degree angle instead of a 45 degree angle. There we go. It's a bit smaller. So if you make it a bit bigger, you can I can do that as well. So I can make that uh, smaller, so I'll make it 30, enter, and we'll see the, the finish. There we can see it's increasing that sunlight already. Okay, last thing I want to show you is on the, if you click on insert, your auto lighting, it puts on a great deal of auto lighting and it, it spreads the lights out all over the place. You actually, you, you don't need it, but it, it brings in a new catalog now called lighting and it, it imports massive amounts of, of nice new lighting that I'll show you now. Okay, there we have that, that midday light plus our auto features lighting and automatically puts it in. So you don't have to add your own manual lighting in anymore. That's the improvement that has come at. Now this is the universal lighting. It's a new catalog that we've put in that we've created and we've added in a whole lot of lights, down lights, ceiling lights, um, under counter light, under uh, wall unit lights, um, under cabinet lights, swan lights. So there's there's nice uh, plinth lights there as well. So there's a nice variety there that you can choose from uh, new modern lighting. And thank you very much for for watching this video on on the new features and the new feature lighting on the Fusion FX3.